Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again. I want to welcome you back to another um, Van Damme movie review. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Dragon Eyes, which luckily Van Damme only has, it's pretty much a cameo. It's, it's not much of a role. It's a very small role in this movie. Um, you know, he has a very small part in the movie, which is okay because this movie's lousy. Um, this movie was part of the After Dark Action series, which also included uh, El Gringo with Scott Atkins and Stash House. And all these movies suck. They really do. I remember when they came out. When they first came out on DVD, they were exclusive to Walmart. I was like so happy. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I gotta go buy it. So I went out and I bought this. I bought Dragon Eyes. And Stash House, and I thought they both sucked. Both movies sucked. I was so pissed off. I wasted all that money. And because of this movie and Force of Execution with Steven Seagal, I gave up. I really gave up on, on buying these movies when they come out. So that's why I just download them now to see them first. Because <laughs> I'm tired of being let down and disappointed. So there you go. But Dragon Eyes, it, it's basically Fistful of Dollars the same story um you know uh Sun Lee I think that's how you say his name um he goes into this town um these two gangs take over you know have control of the town he starts playing them off against each other you know and you know they realize it they team up he fights them all end of the movie very simple it's just four dollars the same movie Fistful of Dollars, or Yo Jimbo, or Death Wish 4, Last Man Standing with Bruce Willis, excuse me, I belched there. Same concept, the same movie. It's the same damn movie as you've seen before, there's nothing new about it. All Van Damme does in the movie, in the beginning, um, Sung Lee's in prison, he gets into a fight, Van Damme comes in and fights these guys off, saves them, which was like the only decent part of the movie. And then he just starts teaching him about life and what to do. And basically he sends them to this neighborhood, to this place to go and, and take out these guys. And then Van Damme has one good line where he's like, you have the dragon eyes, the spirit of the Grand Masters. Which I thought that line was cool. But other than that, no. Nothing about this movie is interesting. This movie sucks. Peter Weller's the bad guy, which, that was okay. I like Peter Weller. You know, I always like seeing him. He's fucking RoboCop. You know, it's always good to see him. But that's not enough, folks. And it's directed by fucking John Hyams. Because he's such a great director. You know, he's so much better than his dad. No, like I said before... Just fucking be your dad's assistant. Go get him coffee and shit. Stop directing movies. We don't need any more Universal Soldier films. We don't need any more movies for you to direct. Because every movie that you have done has sucked. The two Universal Soldier films in this movie suck. Fuck you, John Himes. You cannot direct. Stop wasting time and money. So there was this movie just it's there it just blows. There was just nothing to this movie. Nothing we haven't seen before. It's just it's, it's like okay, I watched it, yay. The only thing I liked was Van Damme, but he only had a small part. And that was disappointing because I, I had the feeling I'm watching this movie and I had the feeling that he was gonna come out at the end of the movie. And he was going to help out Sung Lee and fight these guys. And it would have been cool. No. Not at all. That, for some reason, when I'm watching this movie, that's what I thought. I thought Van Damme was just going to show up and kick ass. And that would have been better. But no, he's only in the beginning of the movie. He's in the movie probably five minutes or less. Nothing really in it. Not really in it. Um, when they were... Filming this movie, there's a part in the 
the reality show that Van Damme did behind closed doors, which I will review at the end, um, where they were filming the fight scene and he accidentally kicked the guy in the mouth and he felt really bad about it and stuff. And the stunt guy was like, ah, it's cool, you know. He's like, I got kicked by Van Damme. It's an honor, you know. So, <laughs> it's cool. Though. That's cool, you know. It's cool, but it's not cool because the guy got hurt, you know. But he was okay. That's all that matters. But yeah, this movie, there's nothing to it. It's lousy. It's lazy because it doesn't try to do anything original. The only good thing was the little part with Van Damme. And then, you know, it was cool to see Peter Weller. But even Peter Weller wasn't given much to do. Uh, Dan Henderson, the UFC fighter, is in the movie. He has a little, little part. Van Damme's son's in the movie, but... You know, it's just, it's just bleh, it's just a bleh movie. It's like, okay, wow, I guess they paid Van Damme a bunch of money to do nothing. Just like uh, UFO and Swelter, which I'll get to. And I understand Van Damme is at that point in his career where it's the twilight of his career. He's, you know, a, a lot of these movies that he's doing, he's not the star anymore. Which sucks, because I love Van Damme, and he's still capable, in my opinion. But I know he's that's why he's doing movies like this, where he has smaller parts. Because he's at the career where, at the point in his career, excuse me, where he doesn't have to be the star. But I still want to see him be the, the star, the hero, because that's what I grew up on. That's what I want to see. I want to see the old Van Damme. I guess we can't have our cake and eat it too. But anyway, folks, I hope that you enjoyed this little spiel on Dragon Eyes. If you haven't seen it, don't waste your time. It's not worth watching. If you like it, that's cool, but just there's not it's nothing. It's a nothing movie. Van Damme is a cameo. That's it. But anyway, folks, uh, next I'm going to be reviewing a much better movie, Six Bullets, which I do like. Um, and also think is underrated. So anyway, folks, uh, thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.